You gotta learn from your losses, just the victory, baby. I've done it all and seen it all, it's just the victory, baby. You gotta see the silver lining, it's a victory, baby. If it been a I know, I know. Uh, if you want greatness, it takes time. I know I'm anxious, just pay me no mind. It's your boy Cal with another one. Yes, I'm in my bedroom. I feel like just recording in my bedroom today. But yeah, so um guys just tuning into my channel. Yeah, I'm Mr. Land Bank. Bought a bunch of properties from the Detroit Land Bank Authority in Detroit. Um and throughout this journey over um I started back in 2016. Um and you know, throughout this journey it has evolved, you know, and now I help people give people information on buying houses in Detroit from my experience, first hand experience. Um, today's video is actually going to be, uh, it's going to be about, um, an in-person consultation from some good people in Florida. So we're going to walk through their, uh, single family home. Um, this, this particular home is actually pretty, pretty interesting. Um, it's on the east side of Detroit, um, closer to eight mile. So it's actually, I consider it a good buy and they got it for a great price, uh, close to a thousand dollars, you know, so definitely a great price. Um, so we're going to do a little walkthrough and, um, you guys, Hey, if you guys want to do an in-person consultation, it will be a link in, in the description. If you can't find that link, just comment on the, uh, on the video. I should get it and I'll send you the link. And, um, I do in-person consultations and I do, um, virtual consultations. So, uh, stay tuned. Let's talk about it. Yeah. So the land bank started doing these nice little doors. We doing our walk through. All right. So living room. Got old, old stuff. Hey, yeah, must have had it rewired at some point, and instead of tearing open the walls, they ran the stuff on the outside, and I mean, ran on the outside. And, yep. Okay. Floor looks good. But no bubbles. Uh, this looks like a radiator. Uh, that looks like a radiator. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have to uh, get this changed to force there. That looks like a radiator part right there. Okay. Yep. So that's what they use. Hmm. Yeah, that's the bedroom. We got a closet. Yep. Yep. So this is the room here. Shoot, the walls don't even look bad. Personally, all you shoot, all your guys probably will be doing is just um, tearing open what we need to get the electricity in, and that's it. And the bathroom actually just need a toilet. Some of this, uh, no, it's gotta be tore out. Um, let's see here. Uh, the good thing is that this this house ain't this ain't. It still got some plumbing in here. Got some old pecs and stuff in here. The floor got to be, you know, I think this tile is at a Home Depot, actually. But they didn't do it right. They didn't put um. They didn't put the proper um. Subfloor. I mean, to, to put the proper uh. Did they put it down? They might have put the. No, it don't look like they put the right membrane down. They look like no. They just tiled over wood. Yeah, so that ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. But. The kitchen, I feel like this tile, you can get the same tile at home, people can match it, but it might have to come up because it doesn't look like they put the, um, the proper stuff on here and that's probably why it broke up here. Mm -hmm. And this here, I'm trying to figure out exactly what this setup is here. Okay, you got your gas line for your stove here, kitchen. I don't know what this is. It must have been a big old radiator or something like that. And then you got your back door here. Okay. Oh, this is the other one? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that a radiator also? That Wait, this doesn't have a basement? Wait, you gotta have a basement. Unless it has a crawl space. I saw something back here. I mean, was it stairs or something? Yeah, I'm sitting. Right? Oh, stairs? No, that's a closet. 
No, it's upstairs. Oh. Also, you have a crawl space, so you ain't got that much to do. So. Yeah, no, it's the upstairs. It's the upstairs, but this is the crawl space here, and then you had. You might have had your washer and dryer in here, in this closet area here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the boil the so what was here then the boiler was here oh. your boiler and maybe your hot water tank all that stuff was right here mm. yep so this one here that's for the uh boiler setup and then that was for the hot water tank so everything is in here so basically you have to close it off close you be buying something special for this like it has to be surprise something small so you got so this is a this is going to be an interesting um job here because they're gonna have to work in a crawl space so i mean it had to be up under the uh so how would they wire this uh rev gonna cuss me out <laughs> yeah no you're getting the crawl space through outside probably it, or it should be a door somewhere in here you know it should be a, it might be a door in a closet or something or um well this this shouldn't be this much this shouldn't be that expensive to to re get redone yeah um yeah so you get into the crawl space outside yeah oh, okay. yep so let's go upstairs um wait hold on where is oh yeah let's go ahead and go upstairs and they got this looking like a closet Yeah, these are old type of. Yeah, it's a no. It's a good. It, it, this property didn't have no real water damage, so. That's shallow. That's just the sheet right from the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah, this has had a furnace area here, so yeah, you ain't got no water damage. The, the you look at the roof. This is good, but it had, yeah. This is gonna be an interesting one, power, powering this one, because I, I haven't ran into this one here, this type of um, getting a change to forced air or going back with, um, going back with um, um, steam, putting the boiler back in here and and just putting the radiators or whatever. Um, and then all the electrical stuff. All the electrical stuff seemed like it's intact for real. And it does it does not look old. I mean, just looking at the switches and stuff like this here. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a good chance we might be able to tie in this and salvage a lot of this, honestly. Um, yeah, and the, wi the wires are not that old. This is not a, this is not a real old house at all. I don't know why they did boiler, but yeah, this is a yeah, this is a bedroom. This is a bedroom for sure. This would be your master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this would be your master bedroom for sure. Okay. Um, oh yeah, you know. This particular property, it was it's 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 not bad. The only thing that makes it bad about this property, well, not bad. Um, I hate going to crawl spaces, so I don't know how everybody else you know is, but you know when I used to be the cable guy, <laughs> I hated going to crawl spaces. But these particular uh, these good people from Florida, they actually, you know, looked at my YouTube videos and they actually uh, they scheduled a. Um, a virtual consultation with me first and um they took my advice they got a smaller home right and they got a three bedroom home that's a smaller home and they got a lot of homes that are three bedrooms that are way way bigger you know and they're, they're, their goal is to rent right you're gonna get that same amount of money for that almost two thousand square foot home what a 1700 square foot home and then they got the smaller home you can get the same amount of rent right 
but they got less stuff to do because they, they don't have to do this every you're gonna have to do the same thing with all of them get new electrical new hvac uh you know drywalling or not and new appliances and you know and re redoing the kitchen and bathroom but me looking at this particular property uh and because it has a cross because it has a cross space ain't nobody going up in, in a cross space to still <laughs> still no pipes you know so they just stole what they can get and they left right because it's a lot of work to go in that cross space to cut stuff out right so they i really feel like they have everything still there that should be a lot of stuff should be salvageable right because it, it wasn't gutted you know what I'm saying the only thing they went in there and took was the uh, the actual um hot water tank and furnace and and you know maybe broke some windows and stuff like that but literally everything is in there and it should be salvageable right so it's just up to them if they uh if it's cost effective to, to go back with a boiler or to go change it off to forced air but going to forced air will require them to do a lot of tear out in the walls right because you want to run new uh you want to run duct work and it doesn't have duct work ran right and this may even be a property where you might want to even go with a uh tankless water heater you know i don't know um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting. So I recommend him one of my, uh, a good guy. I know he's actually a local builder. Um, I'm going to actually recommend, uh, uh, this local builder named, uh, King Yachty. He, he's the goat in his own field. Um, so I'm actually going to recommend, um, these particular, uh, these good people from Florida to, uh, reach out to him and, um, um, and his company, uh, I believe it's uh, the Block Development. Um, I believe it is the, the Block Development. And if I did say it wrong, I do apologize, King. Um, I'm definitely going to recommend them to uh, him um, because he does. He has done a lot of great work for the city and the, and the people in the city. Um, and um, yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it moving. And yes, guys, um, I'm still doing what I'm doing, right? Um, the apartment building um of course you guys know that i have to, i'm coming off of a big loss somebody stole all my tools uh but yeah but it, it is what it is you know they they called me slipping so i'm um, in the process of getting you know uh getting more tools and i want to uh thank everybody that donated to that and also um i really appreciate the love and support from you guys um and we're gonna be moving on up right um, so we waiting on, uh, one of the properties to close, uh, some land that I actually sold, uh, they're actually going to be building a house on that. So we waiting on that to close. Um, also the apartment building is on the market still. Um, and of course, if someone scoops it up, they scoops it up. If they don't scoop it up, I'm still going to be working on it. Right. So if somebody made me the right offer. Yes. We're going to go ahead and sell the apartment building, but. The thing about it is we'd be selling an apartment building to build another apartment building. So that's what that's what the goal will be, right? Um, so stay tuned for the next um, video. Uh, don't know what it's going to be. Maybe an in-person consultation. Maybe me at the building doing some work. Uh, I don't know. I um, also um, want to... Um, yeah, and also, guys, if you have quick questions and stuff like that, you know, always comment on the videos. I need you guys to comment and like on these videos because uh, the YouTube algorithm likes it. And apparently, that's what you're supposed to say on all your videos. And I typically don't say that because I don't like doing all the gen generic stuff or whatever. But, hey, I, I guess I'm supposed to say it. So, um, stay tuned to the next one. Um, all right, you guys, stay blessed.